my name is Santos Xavier. Um, in the world of politics, I ran for City Council Ward 15 and currently um, doing Santos Xavier TV and podcast. I'm, I'm always involved in politics, you know, um, especially if, when it comes to my community. I want my community to have a fair share of what's going on. I want them to get a piece of the pie, you know, of, of whatever, you know, the government is doing, you know, make sure that my community gets something. The vision is to bring tech. I want to have like our little hub of, let's say, Silicon Valley in Olneville or uh, Silver Lake and Manhattan. So for, for that community, you know, not as big, but something simple but i want like for example young people to be able to experience their careers and take a sample of how he's, he's said to be to work in tech and um electronics robotics so my vision still is to have only be as the hub of the small or that only Silicon Valley in Rhode Island, in the state of Rhode Island, and, you know, and my still the vision and, and I was still working on it. So I want to bring a little Google, a little Apple, a little Amazon, a little for everything tech to our community and have maybe young people uh, have maybe a, a work experience and learn what is, you know, how to work in tech and the basics of tech. I'm currently running a podcast, you know, to inform my community of everything, and not just my community, but like the whole city state of you know providence rhode island about things that are going on with the politicians and with the media and everything else the podcast came to be um because of when i was um canvassing uh and i was door knocking and i was uh speaking with people i see their concern i see that they didn't have a voice i see that no matter what they said it went into deaf ears so my thing with the podcast was like i need uh, for my community to have some sort of communication. So I want to be the link between them and the higher ups. You know, that if something happened, um, for example, have a lady coming uh, over uh, because you want to speak about what's going on on her street, you know, and how can we fix it? So I want uh, the podcast to be the voice for her to get across, you know, uh, the higher officials you know, to take notice and, you know, and that don't forget about, you know, our neighborhood and our cities and be like, okay, let, you know, um, let's come and let's get together, you know, let's see what's going on, let's, let's find a solution, you know, because just, you know, telling me, Santos, this is what's going on, you know, um, it, it's limited to, like, to what I can do. But if I give it a voice, you know, to my podcast and it, it goes everywhere and then we can get a louder voice and something can get, get done. My options are still open. I'm still um, considering, you know, what I'm gonna do. I'm right now focused on the podcast, but we'll see what happens next year. But you know, uh, all the options are on the table, and I'm just analyzing um, everything. Like I said, now I have more experience. I have better relations with so many other people. So we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, it's, it's still too soon to say, but you know, all my options are on the table. But like I said, I, I care my com about my community and it's as my community comes first. As long as everything gets done in my community, you know, then we'll see, but the, all the options are on the table. Mr. Javier, thank you so much for sitting down for this interview. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.